Genshin Impact ended up having their official 4.8 showcase yesterday, and I'm sorry that I didn't get this video out yesterday, but I was busy with real life stuff. Emily is the latest five star Dendro Polearm character being added into the game. Here's her ascension card, and here is the banner order. Before we get into it, I will say that this character is mostly going to be utilized in a burn team because she augments fire damage. So let's get started. Her elemental skill, Fragrance Extraction, creates a Lumidus case that deals area of effect dendro damage. The Lumidus case fires puffs of pure dew at nearby enemies at intervals dealing dendro damage. When nearby opponents are affected by burning, they will give off scents at intervals and one scent can be created this way every two seconds. The Lumidus case collects nearby scents and will level up after gathering two of them, after which it'll fire one extra puff of pure dew and the damage will end up increasing. One Lumidus case created by Emily herself can exist at one time. The case starts at level one, but can go up to level two. If the case does not collect any scents for eight seconds while it is on the field, it will go back to level one. There is also Archie Numa. So at intervals, after Emily Emily creates a Lumidus case, a spirit breath thorn will descend in front of her and pierce her opponents, dealing Numa aligned dendro damage. Her ultimate ability, aromatic explication, guiding the fragrances collected within the case. Emily converts them into pure dendro energy, creating a level three Lumidus case and stowing existing cases away. While it exists, the level three case will not gather nearby scents, but it will continually cause scented dew to descend, attacking opponents within range and dealing dendro damage. During this time, one drop of scented dew will descend every 0.3 seconds, and one opponent can become the target every 0.7 seconds. When the duration ends, a level one case will be recreated. If a Lumidus case was stowed away when using your ultimate, then the case that was stowed away will be deployed instead and its duration will be reset. While the ultimate ability is active, your elemental skill will not create a Lumidus case. Moving on to her passive abilities. Headspace Capture. When Lumidus case created by Emily is on the field, all party members gain 85% pyro resistance against burning damage. Lingering Fragrance. Each time it collects two cents, the level two Lumidus case will consume sense and release clear dew cologne that deals area of effect dendro damage equal to 600% of Emily's attack. This damage is not considered elemental skill damage. Rectification. Emily deals increased damage to burning opponents based on her attack, with every 1,000 attack increasing damage dealt by 15%, with the maximum bonus of damage going to 36%. Now her constellations. Her C1 increases the damage dealt by Fragrance Extraction, and her passive talents Clear Dew Cologne, Lingering Fragrance, by 20%. And additionally, when nearby party members trigger the burning reaction on opponents or deal dendro damage to burning opponents, they will generate an additional scent. This effect can be triggered once every 2.9 seconds. Or C2, when your skill, your ultimate ability, or your clear dew cologne passive talent hit opponents, those opponents Dendro resistance is decreased by 30% for 10 seconds. Her C3 increases her elemental skill by three levels. Her C4 makes her ultimate ability's duration increase by two seconds. The interval between opponents being selected as the target for scented dew is decreased by 0.3 seconds. So it lasts longer and will hit more enemies. Her C5 will end up increasing her ultimate by three levels. And her C6, when using your elemental skill or your ultimate ability, Emily will gain abiding fragrance for five seconds. While this is active, after Emily uses a normal or charged attack, she will generate one scent and her normal and charged attack damage will be converted into dendro damage that cannot be overridden. The damage dealt will be increased by 300% of Emily's attack. The abiding fragrance effect will be removed after four scents are created this way or after its duration expires and the fragrance can be triggered once every 12 seconds. Now normally I don't like to share my personal opinions on these characters because frankly speaking I just like doing these videos and getting them straight to the point to you guys. But if I'm being perfectly honest, I was 100% convinced this was a four star character and I would recommend that you save your polls because the next update is going to end up including the new region, which is going to come with new characters that are probably going to be significantly better. Emily is extremely niche and will only really fit into a select group of teams. 